The next item on our agenda is CU 2019-02, Birdies Events and Catering. Mr. Matt. Thank you, Madam Chairman. We're on our way over to the next item. We've got a few more slides to go. Okay. I skipped the pictures of the last one trying to expedite the meeting here. Okay. This one is also a conditional use request. It's by Birdies Events and Catering. This is for an event center and CD zoning. This is about a block or so up the street from the previous request. Um, some of you may already remember this is Birdie's Market, but it's on the west side of North Patterson, directly across from the historic Lowndes County Courthouse. Um, the applicant is proposing to transition their business from that of a marketplace and cafe with an event space upstairs that was part of the cafe to an all-event space, and that requires the conditional use approval in CD zoning. In your packet is the zoning map. You see the CD zoning throughout all of downtown. Um, the aerial map shows the courthouse rooftop and then the rooftops of what's downtown. This is right adjacent to the sanctuary of First Methodist Church, as another point of reference. Um, also in the pack, you have four plans of the existing building. Uh, very little proposed to be changed other than some remodeling upstairs to better accommodate the event space. Uh, but this would be operated by the applicant. Um, under their rules and terms, and it's so, somewhat an affiliation with the Steel Magnolia's restaurant, which is about a block away. Okay. And the kitchen, of course, would remain there as well. And you have two conditions. Two conditions, um, with recommending approval of this one. Um, some of you may recall a few years ago we had a large event center come through for a conditional use called the Patterson. Um, with some of the concerns there were the size and the amount of traffic and people and hours. Um, this is a fraction of that size, so therefore the concerns are nowhere near the same. But some of these conditions come from that approval a few years ago. First one is approval shall be granted in the name of the applicant only for an event center and CD zoning. There shall be no ground bagging of alcoholic beverages, and any events with more than 150 patrons shall be concluded by no later than 1 o'clock a.m. And number two, conditional use approval shall expire after two years from the date of approval if no business license for the event center has been requested and approved by that date. Um, the applicant's business license is currently pending. Okay. Do we have any questions for staff? Madam Chair? Yes. Madam, just, um, just curious on two things. Uh, was, the, was the upstairs as it is sits now, was, it, was that uh, zone for an event center upstairs? It was an event space for the restaurant downstairs, so sort of like a banquet room of a restaurant, so, so very much connected together. Just taking the kitchen and the gifts out has triggered this thing. Correct. In other words, the primary use before was a retail store and restaurant with events as accessory, but it was part of the restaurant. And now <coughs> the only use that's there is the event center in the catering operation. And the other event center downtown, downtown also we did about a year ago, it, does that also have a 1 a.m. close time? It has a close time with a different threshold. Um, you may recall there's some valet parking restrictions on them, um, daytime hour limitations um, because of the size, and there's a little less parking down there than there is up here. <coughs> That is that leads me into the next question about parking since we're going to an event versus um, is there enough street side parking to accommodate? There is. There's also the courthouse square, which has more public parking, which is something we did not have at the other location. Um, plus the track record. Um, like you said, there has been events operating as yes. accessory for the past few years right. without any complaints. Um, and so that both well in favor with the applicant. That long with the capacity. Correct. Mm -hmm. Capacity is much different. Um, both floors of Birdies will fit inside the first floor of the Patterson with room left over. Mm -hmm. And the Patterson is a three story building. Mm -hmm. Are there other questions for staff? No? All right, then. We'll move into the public hearing portion. Is there anyone here tonight wishing to speak on behalf of this uh, case? Please come forward. Hello. Hi. My name is Kira Moritz Johnson. I reside at 6728 Parker Road in Hayhira, 32632. I'm here to answer any questions you might have. We're going to continue to do the same thing we've been doing for the past three years. 
groceries <laughs> without breakfast. <laughs> and we appreciate Unfortunately. And retail. Unfortunately. Stuff. And retail. We got to take the teddy bears out. Now we even have an event center. And did I understand that you're going to be catering from Steel's? Steel Magnolias will operate only catering in the facility. We will not allow outside caterers because okay. why would I? Right. <laughs> Steel Magnolias will pull all alcohol permits because why would I let somebody else come in and do it? I'm not going to claim the monopoly on my own properties. Here, is there a kitchen in there? In, in, in there is there a kitchen in, in Birdies? Mm -hmm. <coughs> have you never eaten? Yes, I have, but I, when you said it's still back in the old house, I didn't know what you did. Well, we will operate as the exclusive, you know, technically, Burbies is now, Burbies is just a property of still Magnolia's. Okay. So, it's an extension of what still Magnolia's is. Like we talked about the work session of these facilities were next to each other. Right. We wouldn't we be just here. We a hole in the wall. Exactly. <laughs> and save me the wall. Yeah. <laughs> All right, do you have any other questions? Thank you, Ms. Thompson. Is there anyone else here tonight who would like to speak on behalf of this request tonight? All righty. Is there anyone here tonight who wishes to speak against this request? Anyone wishing to speak against the request tonight? All right, if not, I'll entertain a motion from the commissioners. Madam Chairman? Yes. I'd like to recommend to the uh, City Council that uh, approve the request for Bernie's Defense and Cameron CU 201902 with the two conditions. Okay, Madam Chairman, I'll entertain a motion to approve the request for Bernie's Defense and Cameron CU 201902. Is there any other discussion before we vote? That's a good question. Uh, Mrs. Johnson, could you approach once more, please? I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> um, yes. Uh, there was a, a question um, from the commissioner. Are you okay with the uh, conditions that have been stipulated by staff? No later than 1 a.m. Right. I'm not going to be there past midnight. Okay. <laughs> I did keep my alcohol license with the state of Georgia. Okay. Because per chance, per I want to change what I do at okay. Birdie's Market or okay. Birdie's Events and Catering, I'm gonna hold on to that little piece of paper because it only costs me hundred dollars a year. Okay. So for hundred dollars a year, I'm just gonna buy my time and see what happens with our downtown. All right. Perfect. Just wanna make sure you look at the conditions they put on. Yeah, I don't party class tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be home in my bed too. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Pam? Hey, I'm here with Mr. Conyoff here. He's having a lot of trouble hearing y'all. Okay. And, uh, he's got a few questions, I think. What do you want to just wait until later? We've closed the public hearing portion of this particular case. Okay. Um, part for him to okay. Is there a way for us to... Okay. All right. So, Mr. Martin will be happy to speak with you afterwards. That's okay. Okay. And if we can increase, all right. Okay. And if commissioners, if we could just increase our volume, that would be helpful. So, all right. If there's no other discussion, then uh, I'll ask for the vote. All right. All those in favor of Mr. Uh, Commissioner's Hall's uh, motion, let's signify by raising your right hand. And all those against, and it is unanimous. All right, Mr. Martin.